One famous American president's life would be very different were it not for the actions of an immigrant woman in the early 20th century. Born in Germany in 1881, Elizabeth Christ married a German man who'd made a small fortune in America and returned to his hometown of Karlstadt to find a bride. Elizabeth started her married life in the United States in 1904, where she gave birth to their first child, a daughter. In 1905, she had a son, and another boy followed in 1907. As the United States got involved in the First World War, Elizabeth and her family faced strong anti-German sentiments. The U.S. government even sanctioned citizen volunteers in the American Protective League to aid the Justice Department in spying on German immigrants and native-born German Americans. The government sent thousands of German immigrants to internment camps. Anti-German hysteria grew with mobs beating and even lynching U.S. citizens of German ancestry. In May 1918, Elizabeth's husband died suddenly of pneumonia during the Spanish influenza epidemic. He left an estate consisting of several vacant lots, mortgage loans, life insurance, and some cash. Widowed with three children, Elizabeth had to find a way to support her family. She could have sold the real estate holdings for immediate cash, but instead she built houses on the vacant lots and sold the homes by financing the mortgages. The mortgage interest payments and money she'd brought in from sewing supported her family until her children could start working full-time. Her oldest son, Fred, took carpentry and construction classes in the evenings, and when he was only 15 years old, he built a garage for a neighbor. Elizabeth started the company E. Trump and Son before Fred turned 21, so he could build and sell houses. You've probably guessed now, Fred Trump went on to make his fortune in the home building and real estate industry. And his son, Donald J. Trump, went on to make his name in real estate as well and become president of the United States. If not for the German immigrant, Elizabeth Christ Trump, and her decision to develop on those vacant lots, rather than sell for a quick dollar, the Trump family story may have turned out differently. What turning points do you have in your family history? Share your ancestor's game-changing story with a short ancestor story video and get your family excited about their family history. Get a free guide to discover how at ancestorstoryvideo.com.